Joy, uh, Mr. Ward, thank you so much for coming in today. The, um, the latest uh, bank of tests has come back. Unfortunately, the news is not as good as we'd hoped, or what we expected even. Um, it seems that the disease has moved further into your right lung uh, and, and quite, quite rapidly, um, much more aggressively than we first anticipated. Um, we are still awaiting uh, further detail of the tests to recommend the next stage of treatment, but I must warn you, the treatment that would be recommended is experimental at best. Honey, don't forget your medication. What's the point? Everyone's gonna die one day. Joy, please. Sorry? Your milkshake. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. It's your first time here, so I won't tell anyone. Hey, honey, how was school today? Hey, Ron. I've made a... You right, love? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh, I'm fine. Have I been? How did you guys get this book? Um, well, some of them we buy. Others we get donated. 
you know, that kind of thing. Oh, thanks. Sorry, hon, that's not leaving the library. I just... Can you at least keep it in a safe place for me? Sure, I will put this in the reference section right over there. Exposed to everyone else? That's why they call it a public library. What if someone takes it before me? Well, then I guess you're just gonna have to get here very early. Very early. What's going on here? Hey, it's you. You you can't read this book. Why not? It's mine. Yours? Sorry. Can I help you? No, I'm good. It's upside down. What? The book. What do you mean? <coughs> what are you doing? Drinking water. Didn't your parents teach you any manners? I actually don't have any parents. Sorry, I didn't... It's fine. I'm Harry, by the way. Harry Sparrow. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. You too. Sorry, what's the matter? Mm. I see. How do you expect me to love someone who's been hiding things from me my whole life? Why is it so important to you to know about your biological parents? Once upon a time, there was a little girl who had an adorable pet bunny. She loved him very much and named him Fluffy. Every morning, as soon as she woke up, she would go straight to his cage to play with him. Fluffy would often fall asleep in her arms, and she would sit there gently until he woke up again. One day, her mum saw her with Fluffy on her lap. The little girl whispered, Shh, he's sleeping. 
but her mum wasn't so sure. She noticed the bunny was soaking wet and wasn't breathing. Why is Fluffy so wet? she asked. He was thirsty, so I gave him some water. But the mum, realising that Fluffy was dead, took him off her lap and put him back in his cage without saying anything. Later that day, she went to the pet store and bought a new bunny and swapped him with Fluffy. The end. Is that all? Well, did she tell the little girl what happened? I don't know. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. Well, don't you know? How can you end a story like that? You don't get it, Joy. It's not about the end. It's not even about the beginning. Why didn't the little girl's mum tell her what really happened to the bunny? Well, I guess to protect her. Because she wasn't ready. I'm the girl. <laughs> no, you're the bunny. Joy, there's something else I want to show you. What's this? These are the pages I took from the first chapter of your book. You did what? Who are you anyways? What do you think gives you the right to decide what I should and shouldn't you know? You don't understand. No, you don't understand. That book is what I need. This book does not have the answers you're looking for, Joy. Sorry, I need to do this myself. Joy, you are not alone. talking about? They thought that I would ruin their life so they didn't want me. Is that all I am? Just someone that no one else wants? No, Joy, of course not. Look at me. Your biological parents have no idea what they missed out on. Your mum and me always wanted a little girl. I still remember the day we first saw you. Nothing could take that smile off her face. <laughs> the curly hair. Those little hands. Your big eyes. She always talked about your cute big eyes. We named you Joy. Because you brought us Joy. And you do that every single day. I can't tell you how much I love you, Joy. Dad. I love you. I've seen many hymns today. You have to be a little bit more specific. The guy who I always come here with. You're very funny. Excuse me? You always come here alone. What?
Excuse me. Can I recommend you a book? 